Well, tell us what it's been like the last year minus Bon Jovi. Oh, actually, it's been busier than ever, to be honest with you. You know, I mean, it, it's given me the chance, number one, priority, to be with my family and my daughter and to plug in, because you can imagine, uh, you know, uh, 30 years of touring uh, like I've done, you know, uh, with the band, and we haven't exactly been shy about dates. I mean, our last tour was uh, 52 countries, wow. uh, 18 and a half months, and the tour before that was uh, 40 something countries in 12 months, maybe 14 months, I don't even recall, but. Uh, it was unprecedented because there's only three times in rock and roll history that that's been done. Rolling Stones, Grateful Dead, and us. So wow. what this has done when I split the band has given me a chance to obviously, number one priority, uh, you know, get back and be with my family. And uh, obviously number two, we take this business to a different level, and obviously, that occurred. Okay, so you split the band, and fans want to know, are you ever coming back? Yeah, I mean, you know, when everybody wants to get back, we'll get back. I, you know, honestly, when you make that kind of dent into a global marketplace, I mean, you know, I mean, that is a songwriter's dream. That's a, that is an artist's dream to be able to have that communication. But you also have to have an individu individual style and an individual mark yourself. And it's very, very important. And, you know, I think we've always been very, very supportive of all that. So, you know, uh, you never can say never and you never can say ever. <laughs> I mean, that's the best way I could put it, man. I mean, you know, and, and you know what? Guess what? 30 years ain't so bad, baby. No. You know, I mean, it, so it, if it didn't happen, all right. And if it didn't happen, all right. It'll happen. 